Hi, my name is John Whitehead. I'm a leadership and executive coach, and welcome to this week's video blog post. Over the last 17 weeks, we have been talking about Marshall Goldsmith's book, What Got You Here, and his 20 habits that keep you from the top, at least my interpretations of those. And again, we're at week 17 right now. And week 17, Marshall calls his 17th having failing to express gratitude. Now, Marshall talks, uh, talks about Dale Carnegie and how Dale Carnegie said that the two sweetest words were the first name and the second name, a person's first name and the second name, and how when you use that, it sounds, it, it's a great way to connect with people. Marshall actually says the two sweetest words in the, in, in the world are thank you, thank you, acknowledging people, thanking them. And as he said, expressing gratitude. Thank you. It's a really interesting exercise to say to yourself, okay, today, when anybody says something to me, um, compliments me, says something nice to me, all I'm going to say is thank you and that's it. Right, you know, um, you say something nice about something. Oh, that's a really nice uh, jacket you're wearing. Oh, this, this is just something I've had for a number of years. Why, you know, diminishing it? Just saying thank you. Or somebody says, "Boy, I really like that presentation you made." And instead of saying, "Well, yeah, I worked on it so long. I'm, I'm so glad it's over. It was such a short," just say thank you. I think I may have talked about this before, but there's an exercise that I'll put people through where they're to go, uh, they grab somebody in the, in the crowd and say, here's, here's a behavior or here's an issue I'm facing or here's a behavior I'm trying to shift. Can you give me an idea on how I do, I do it? The other person gives them an idea and the, uh, the initial person just says, thank you. And that's it. Just says, thank you. Doesn't add value. Doesn't say anything more to it. Just says, thank you. Just appreciate the other person for saying it. So sometimes all you have to say is thank you. I appreciate that. So it's expressing gratitude. Now again, last week I talked about how leaders are often so focused on things they don't listen. Right? We've we've talked to in the past about adding value. Uh, what's the message that you're giving if you add value? Somebody comes to you with an idea and you say Okay, yeah, that sounds like an interesting idea. Uh, have you thought of dot, dot, dot? What do you, what's, the, what's the message you should giving them? So, say, saying thank you. So, here's a challenge for you this week. Just make a mental note, or if you keep a list, put it on your list. Put it on your list to say thank you today. Say thank you as many times today. Or, how many times can I just say thank you today to somebody? How many times can I say, tell somebody I appreciate them? That's it. Try it. See what happens. Try it this week and see what happens. And then maybe try it next week and try it the week after that. Make it a habit. I think you'd be surprised. Surprised at the response you get, the take up you get at it. Right? If you're a manager and you're telling your staff thank you, what, there's a strong message there for you. Anyway, thank you for listening this week and uh, enjoy your week. We'll talk to you again next week.